Okay, guys. Uh, this is a video about tricks and tips for our tricks. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day, and today I'm gonna tell you a few tips and tricks. I mean, I'm gonna tell you tips for our tricks, not for our tricks, but you got it. We'll start by teaching you some triple whips from the bowl because it's it's like it's not that easy. And hope you enjoy it. So let's go. Let's do it. was a triple towel whip and it's done by the spinning basically just spin your deck around uh, just practice this motion on the flat try catching it practice practice makes the something so basically all you have to do is just learn that motion in your hands and arms just learn that and then try to catch it. Ah, uh, that's hard. But, and then just like try the triple tail whip, but then like it'll memorize it in your muscles and then you got it like 100%. So, so every time you try to jump out of the bowl, try to like, like jump out like, so that you're flat like that. Like you can't be like that cause you're gonna mess up, but like try to keep your body and your deck and your scooter, try to keep your scooter and your body like level with the ground and then just as soon as you hit the coping you just try to kick it as hard as you can just kick it like literally just like smash it 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 just kick it and then just that motion that you learned if you learned it in your arms are gonna do it and then you just go like yeah, and you got it done. So that's basically how to triple whip and let's go to the next trick. Second trick, what do you, we are gonna help you with is this flip bar. So, how to make a board slide or front board slide or what do you wanna, what do you wanna do? Because it's, everything is just similar. Because if, if you can do board slide, you can do everything. Uh, it's everything just about standing on it and uh, trying to not fall down while you're sliding on it. Oh. So, how to learn? Uh, I learned it, uh, I, I was jumping on it and uh, trying to like uh, not be scared to jump on it. And, like if it's uh, not high like this, you shouldn't be scared, but I, I was. Because I'm I'm idiot 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 idiot. But so I I'll show you. It's one jump it like this. And if you can do this, you're you're absolutely like you have it because that's the that's the hardest part to jump on it and stabilize your body. So you can try uh, uh jump on it and uh, uh, put your foot down. That's a good uh, way to learn it. This! And put your foot down. So, that's it, I don't know. And I think. So now, if you can do board slide, that's uh, like the back, back side board slide. Like uh, when you're riding, when your heels are uh, to the rail. That's bo back side board slide. So, front side board slide is when your toes are uh, in front of the rail you wanna jump like this and it, it looks harder and it is but you wanna practice so I think w when you can do the uh, back side front back side uh, board slide it's not that hard because you can you can stand on it and that's everything what you wanna do uh, so I'll show you the front side. Make sure that you you're riding slowly because you don't want to fall down. And on the on the front side board slide, you uh, when you try it first, you almost always do something like this. So make sure that you jump and stand on it, not beside it, like this. Gonna be like this. No, just no side. Bam, 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 bam.
Let's go to the next one. In order to do that trick, you gotta jump high, finger whip. You gotta know that motion. Not that one, but this one. Every time you wanna hit that deck, try to do it with your fingertips. So basically like that, just like, like tap it, okay? Because it usually hurts when you do it with your palm. So all you need is just that, and then you gotta jump high. And then you gotta have some speed. There's no speed, no trick. Once you can finger whip, like for example, out of a bowl, you can do it from a from a bank like that for like with no problems. After you got that, like you nailed it, then you can try double finger whips. Right now, I'm I'm pretty good at finger whips, and I think it's really easy. For a double finger whip, you gotta have a lot of speed, a lot of height. I can't do a double finger whip from the bank right now but I can do it from a bowl so you gotta have a lot of height and try the oh yeah this goes for both for a finger whip and a double finger whip so you gotta go down and at the same time you gotta pull this up and you gotta smash the deck turn it around and as you do that when you smash it try the like forget about everything and just like try to get your hand back up to the handlebars because once you do that you smash it you get your hand right up your hand is gonna automatically do that motion. It's gonna like finish rotating that, rotating that deck. Same thing goes for double finger whips. Once you hit that, oh, once you hit that finger whip, you're gonna put your hand up again like super fast. And then once you hit it, it's probably gonna go around once. And then as soon as you put your hand up, you're automatically gonna do that motion. It's gonna rotate one more time and then just like just all you got to do is just figure out how to put the hand back on and then your feet are going to land it automatically after you know how to do talvis and all that whoa look at that spider web so that's i guess all for finger whips and so i really hope you liked it you enjoyed it at least we gave you or i hope we gave you like an inspiration or we like taught you we gave you more ideas how to finally land the tricks and roll away so I hope you do good and I guess see you in the next video